But now you said before, when you person tried to show you Islam or invite you to Islam, you said, I do not want to be like these people. Yes. Now, what is the message now for non-Muslim? What is the message for the Muslim? Okay. Unfortunately, the truth is that we Muslims are really in a mess. We cannot deny that. We are really in a mess because we are not taking seri Islam seriously. We are not trying to seek knowledge seriously. We are really, may Allah, God forgive us, we are acting like our own gods. We move according to what, according to our will, which is not what we are supposed to do. We are supposed to seek and find out what the Creator wants us to do and act accordingly. That way we will be okay. But we are not doing that right now. And unfortunately, me too, myself too. Many times I don't act the way I'm supposed to. And we have to work on that. We have to work on that. So, to the, to the non-Muslims, like everybody, all of us Muslims say now, don't look at us. But uh, seek the truth. Don't make, don't let us make you confused. Please, actually don't look at us really. But uh, for me, what was helpful is um, the Sheikh who has this website, he took me step by step when nobody else really um, helped me. Um, I went looking for what is Islam. I wanted to know, I wanted to study. But there, are many, there were many scholars out there. There were many lecturers out there. But nobody really gave me the time or the attention that one really needs. We need really a lot of help to grow as Muslims because we don't know, we don't have the knowledge. And uh, Sheikh Ahmed, um, he takes his job very seriously. And, and that's why he was always available and um, he, he, he took me step by step. But now again, focus about the main message for Muslim yes. and non-Muslim. Okay. Main message. Main message. Okay. okay. For the non-Muslims, if you're not a Muslim yet, please do think about what it means to be a Muslim, what a Muslim means. Muslim means a human being who surrendered his or her will to the Creator's will. There's nothing wrong with that. This is for everybody. Every human being must be a Muslim. There is no choice. If you're not a Muslim, meaning you are not submitting your will to the, creator, to the Creator's will, so you will be at war against Him. And this is a very dangerous thing for you to do in this life and in the hereafter. You will never be able to be happy because this is not the way it works. God created you and He gave He gave you the choice to surrender or not to surrender. And He designed your life in a way to know this truth. So we have to think about it seriously, what life means, what a human what you are, what really who I who who am I, who I am and you will know, inshallah, that to be a Muslim is the only way out. And the success in this life and hereafter. Yes. And the success in this life and in the hereafter. So for me, I understood that as a human being, to know the truth which is that God, the Creator, is everything. To know the truth and to die, to live my life like that, and to die like that, to end your life like that, like that would be a successful life. Yeah, that's why in this life and in the hereafter. Because life is continuing. Yes. Because it's not, it's not only death. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. 
because unfortunately if it's death is the end it will be much easier but we have to we have to face the consequences of our life which is pretty scary because because that is justice to have to face your own actions that's why I love Islam because it's justice I saw injustice in the world but God said in the day of judgment he will bring everybody to justice and everything will be taken care of and I think that's wonderful good news for everybody but somebody might say look at the Muslim is a nonsense they killing each other they causing mischief all over yeah. they have no manner you cannot count on them yeah. what do you say to that okay Just like just because we call ourselves Muslim doesn't really mean that we are fulfilling the 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 criteria of what it means to be a Muslim. And yes, we are failing in that big time. Yes, we are failing. But I'm not saying everybody. Yeah, there are many many people's Muslims that I met wonderful people, but the fact that really as a majority we look bad. We look bad. May God forgive us, we look bad. And what's the advice for a Muslim? For, what's the advice for a Muslim? We have to, we have to, as Muslims, like God says, great Allah says, we have to use our reason and think, what are we doing? and why we're doing what we're doing and how how come we're doing what we're doing and really to go back to Islam yeah to go back to Islam some Muslim might tell you I pray I fast I make my salah I have my hijab I'm a good Muslim what do you want Because to be a Muslim is, is to give your whole life to the cause of Islam. And it takes a lot, really. We have to give ourselves, we have to sacrifice ourselves to do that. And we have to only think for, only think for what, uh, what Allah wants. How do you reach that? If somebody drowning in his own life yeah. or in her own life and all they care about is a husband, a wife, such and such, how, what do you advise? To wake up because it's not reality. The reality is that you are being tested, we are being tested in this life. We, it's just a test, it's not where we can have things or accumulate things and it's not our goal in this life our goal is is to be representative of Allah I can say Allah the representative of of Allah and that's a lot of work it's uh, it's full-time work actually you cannot take it as a part-time job or a hobby or anything like that. We have to really uh, devote ourselves. And your life will become much easier to devote yourself because then you are serving one creator. You are serving Allah. But if you have many things going on in your life and your heart is, is occupied with many things, you are not serving Allah, which is a dangerous thing to do. It's a very dangerous thing to do. So I try to be careful with that. I try not to be... I try to be as devoted as I can. And by saying that, really, Allah knows what our, what our maximum is. So when we say maximum, it's really maximum. And we can always do more. Because Allah knows what we can and what we're not doing.